With all the cold and wind we've been having this year, Mother Nature can kiss my bass. purveyor of fishing puns and uh, you're watching Angling Anarchy. I am out fishing with my good friend Trevor Allen. He's in the back here. Uh, we're about dying of the cold and we're out bass fishing. I was supposed to musky fish the other day and you've probably heard me say that about 20 times this year but the wind was far too much uh, for it to be worth doing so I didn't go. Uh, so instead of 75 and windy it's 46 and windy which is way better uh, and we are fishing a small lake here in southern Wisconsin for bass we got on a really good um, rattle bite bait last year out here so we're attempting to do that again we have mid 50 degree water temps it's way warmer than the ambient air temperature right now it's it's pretty darn cold out but uh, yeah we're gonna be throwing mostly rattle baits. I know Trevor's got a couple of swim jigs uh, and swimming baits that he's going to be throwing. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. 56 degrees and about 10 feet of water, give or take. There's a couple of cribs we're going to try to get on and uh, see if there's any fish holding on those. But other than that, I, I need to start doing something. I'm going to freeze here. It's so cold out. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a couple of nice big bass in the boat for you to take a look at. All right, well, here's what I'm gonna be throwing probably for most of the day. This is a Berkeley War Pig, three quarter ounce. Did well on this uh, last year, doing the same thing, this kind of early season bass rattle bait bite. Uh, got the old trusty seven foot medium heavy St. Croix with the old school what is that? The Curado Super Free Shimano 200. So that's what I'm rocking. Trevor's going to be throwing some different stuff back there, some soft baits and rattle traps and whatever. So that's the deal. And it's cold out. And this kind of sucks. But let's see if we can catch some fish. <laughs> oh, what was that? I might have just been bottom. There's a fish. Nice fish. Um, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. You goofball. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Buddy, you... Got yourself an eyeful, unfortunately. Let's get you out of there. There we go, there we go, come on. Nah, 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 nah. So that, that bump I felt might have been a fish, because it was right after that we got that one. There's a start out deeper in about 15 foot on the rattle trap. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that water actually feels warm compared to the ridiculous crap out here. Oh, man. There's a fish. That seems like another nice one. Come on, buddy, what are you? Ooh, yeah. that's a dandy. That one? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Whoa, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that's a tanker, man. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, that. That is uh, dude. quite the fish. That is the five pounder we were just talking wow, about. Wow, man. That is amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to get a hook in my hand here. Holy cow. 
Wow, dude. That's what you would call a bucket moth. That is amazing. Look at the back and look at the shoulders on that thing. <laughs> yeah, we might need to take a picture of this guy, get a measurement and all that jazz. Get that judge out of there. Oh, okay, so he's 20, but look, I mean, well, look how tall he is. oh my gosh, <laughs> that is amazing. Jeez, I might actually, uh, let's see here. Should have grabbed that, exactly. I should be sort of ready to go. Of course it doesn't. Oh, that sucks. I knew we were going to catch a scale-worthy fish today. I don't think I've got any other... Shoot. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll get a... Do you want a picture? Yeah. Uh, you just, just film it. Is she going? Yeah. 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 yeah, I got it. Okay. Wow, that is... An amazing fish and unfortunately I'm not usually worried about uh, getting the weight on fish so my scale uh, the battery's dead so we can't unfortunately weigh it but that has got to be close to a five pound Wisconsin largemouth which is a trophy fish uh, 20 inches long and just super deep very cool fish so we'll get her back here Man, look at that thing that is just a tank there you go sweetie Wow we had literally were just talking about, oh, it'd be cool to catch like a five pounder. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Very cool. So apparently I'm an idiot and just didn't, I was nervous when I was holding that fish and just didn't hold the button down because there we go. We got a working scale. Guess I'll just have to go catch a bigger one. That a f must be a fish out there a little bit. Yeah, yeah the crib's right on the edge there. You can see oh, the fish, okay. fish kind of on the outside of it. Yep. Fish? There yeah. you go. Nice. Good head shape, really. Oh, yeah. Well, here, I'll get in just in case we need to get a net on that one. Oh yeah? That's not a good one. Oh yeah it is. Turn, there we go. Oh dude, another <laughs> tanker! Yes! That's so cool man. One of that's smaller than yours, but that's still that's still a nice half four Oh yeah tank, man. At least. Here I'll let you deal with that. that. I'll uh I'll get this thing since we know it's working now. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah, that's a head. Wow. Well, you do that, I'm going to get this okay. hooks out of the net. Oop, oop. Dude, it's, it's a five. Is it? Can't get him to. Oh, good. It's five three or five four. <laughs> yeah, Dude. from seeing it in your hand, yeah. Dude, here I'll. Uh... So, all right, well. Wow, that is amazing. There we go with another one. Wow, look at that so thing. Five four on the scale. Yep. Not very often in Wisconsin can you get a 10 pounds out of two bass. We'll take that all day long. Hold her up one more time. And we'll get a we'll get a good still shot off of that. What an amazing fish. Do you think mine was bigger than that? I think so honestly. So that was that's two five pounders all day long, man. Two, yeah.
Unreal. All right. Is that your PB largemouth? That is my PB largemouth. Yes! It took me years to break that one. I was just telling Brian earlier, it's so sad. My PB smallmouth, up until now, was a pound bigger than my largemouth. I don't know how many people can say that, but it's pretty sad. So, <laughs> it still is actually. Still bigger. All right, well, we're getting closer though. Yeah, we are working on our big bag. It's not musky fishing, but I'll tell you what, catching two trophy largemouth like that is just amazing. It's so cool. Um, it actually made me feel not cold for about 10 seconds there. <laughs> I am miserably underdressed for the conditions today, but uh, we're out here, we're fishing, we're going to power through it, and uh, it seems to be worth it. All right, so here's what we're attempting to do with uh, the rattle baits that we're using. We are sitting in about 12 to 15 feet, casting parallel to the shore, keeping our baits in that 12 to 15 feet the entire way. So when we cast out, we're actually opening the bale, or the spool, and uh, letting the bait fall just about to the bottom, and then trying to bring it back as slow as we can. That's the nice thing about those Berkeley War Pigs. You can run them really really slow and they'll still run nice you can feel the rattle down there and speaking of rattles these things are they're noisy they're um, like a rattle bait on supercharger so uh, really cool baits to use so far got us a couple of personal best Wisconsin bass here uh, so we are having fun doing this but that's what we're doing come on there's got to be a couple fish out here yeah, that, there thought, you go. I thought that was the crib. I thought that was the crib. I <laughs> wonder well, how big that one is then. Does it feel pretty good? No, it doesn't feel as big. No? Okay. Well, just in case, maybe it's our, our third five pounder here. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be okay with that. Oh, no. Nice fish, though. Yeah, we're one closer to our limit. That's all. <laughs> You want me to net it just to uh, just flip, flip it? There you go. All right. They aren't biting hard all the time, but you can see they want that thing. It's actually got some like leech or something on him there. I don't know what that is. Huh, that's weird. Do you know, Mr. Biologist? No idea. No idea. <laughs> Another good fish, though. I need the players to get this guy under. Sure. Maybe we'll get him back in. Oh, let's see here. There's players. Weird. It's like an actual leech or something. Yeah. Some sort of oh, that came out pretty easy. There we go. One pound larger bag. There we are. And Coolness, we are. man. One away from a limit. <laughs> all right, well, so we, we switched spots. And basically, all we're doing is we're targeting uh, fish cribs out here that have just piles and piles of panfish on them and I don't know if you can you probably can't see but out there somewhere we have a little buoy on it so we know where the crib is we can kind of pick our way around it without getting stuck on it um, but I, I was just kind of laughing because uh, Trevor's got his Garmin um, what is that the live scope set up so we literally have some of the oldest fishing technology in the buoy and some of the newest fishing technology using them in tandem and uh, we're just having a good time doing it oh my goodness well that's a <laughs> you can tell we're both kind of like cowering uh i'm surprised the camera doesn't look like this right now because i just i'm shaking so bad it's so cold but uh that's going to be it for today 
not many fish, but man, the quality. Yeah, those I don't two. think you can beat the average we had. Yeah, that was that was pretty amazing. Um, two kickers. Yeah, two five pound plus. I really wish I could have gotten that scale working. Trevor's was five, what, five, five pounds, four, four ounces. ounces? And yours was bigger. And it was a bigger fish. Um, so five and a half, six, I don't know, but it was a big, big Wisconsin largemouth. Um, again, I feel like I've been saying this forever now, but we got musky fishing coming up here. I'm heading to Iowa uh, two weeks from filming this and it'll be shorter than that from the time you're watching this. Um, other than that, it's gotta get warmer at some point, right? It's, uh, things are starting to green up. We had a couple of 70 degree days. Unfortunately, we picked the mid 40 degree day yeah, to come the out. the day after that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that's it. We are gonna go warm up. Uh, and uh, I just appreciate every single one of you people watching this. I, I really do. So. Uh, with that, see you in the next video.